everyone sanket here today we are going to look at a sequence alignment tool which is called as blast blast stands for basic local alignment search tool it is a basically a heuristic tool for understanding the pairwise alignment to try and find out uh, which other sequences okay is um, identical uh, to our query sequence all right uh, this is useful if you uh, if you have an unknown sequence or even if you have a known sequence um, and you want to find out those sequences which are evolutionary related to it or closely related to whatever your sequence is okay uh, this is basically what what we call as your sequence alignment so that's why we perform blast or basic local alignment search tool okay uh it is one of the heuristic tool uh and the another heuristic tool is uh, called as faster or fast alignment so uh in order to carry out blast which is the most basic of all the tools so uh this uh, this uh, uh, before i even begin into what exactly how to perform blast uh this is one of the most basic tool for bioinformatics okay it's used by bioinformaticians and also by experimental people alike Uh, it has gone through a uh, so there are multiple types of blast which is there so uh, initially there was blast uh, n then came out to be blast p then t blast n t blast x and then uh, you have right now called as blast omega so uh, phi blast psi blast so there are, there are a large number of variants of blast uh, which are available Uh, originally it was um, found out by stephen altschul okay uh, who's a part and the, the developer was from ncbi or national center for biotechnology information right so um uh, let's uh, let's uh, go into or let's uh, try and understand how a blast is performed so you type blast in google you get the first hit which is basic local alignment search tool and this is your home page now um there are as i told you there are various variants of blast so you have uh, nucleotide blast blast x t blast n and protein blast all right um so if you have a nucleotide sequence if you have a translated nucleotide sequence if you have a protein sequence which you want to search for uh, against a translated nucleotide database and then you have if you have a protein query sequence so depending on whatever your sequence is you can uh, choose them today we are going to uh, see protein blast all right okay so uh, the blast for all of them the basic performance of all the blasts is the same thing so um, just for uh, expression i'm going to choose protein blast all right so click on uh, i click on this protein blast which is there all right so now it takes us to this thing all right so you have your query sequence where you can enter so here you can enter your accession numbers gi which is gene index or your faster sequences um or you can even upload it as a text file you can give a job title to it uh so now our in this case what we are going to do is um we are going to incorporate the faster sequence so i have with me a faster sequence for p53 uh, homo sapiens all right i can just uh, copy this faster sequence all right um and then i can paste it here all right um in order to understand what i have done okay you can go to uh, genbank a video of mine where you can understand um, all uh, from uh, what exactly is this thing okay. so um all right so we have uh, entered our accession and uh, sorry we have entered our faster sequence uh, then the job title is by default incorporated if you want you can change it um, then uh, we go for the databases so you have different types of databases non redundant Uh, reference model organisms uh, you can um, also uh, carry out an alignment for some uh, again some specific databases also uh, we will be going for the default ones okay which is non redundant protein sequences you can choose an organism against which you want to find okay if you do not have any information as such you can just keep it blank like what i'm going to do right now all right um uh, then you can then the next one is your program selection so you have quick blast blast p psi blast phi blast delta blast um right now what we are doing is your simple uh, protein sequence 
um, trying to align against all the sequences, all the protein sequences which are present in the database. So we'll go for the basic one, which is BLAST P, that is protein, protein BLAST. If I had chosen a nucleotide, it would have been BLAST N. Similarly for T BLAST, uh, similarly for T BLAST X and T BLAST N. All right. So depending on what sequences you are taking, uh, your query sequences. Sorry. Depending on what your query sequences, um, you can search. All right. Okay, now once uh, we are uh, comfortable and we are fine, okay, that uh, what exactly uh, we want to do. So the next thing is uh, we can go ahead with uh, uh, with actually your blast performing. Okay, so I, I think I'll do it show results in a new window. Okay, and then I'll click on this uh, big blue blood button which is called as blast. So now um, uh, our query sequence for p53 homo sapiens is being aligned against all the multiple sequences of protein which is present in the database um, it will take some time uh, for uh, the alignment and um, it will give us the hits okay of all the sequences with which it has aligned with uh, let's let's have a look at it so this is your description part all right uh, this is your job title this is our accession number we have the program which is blast p the database the query the description the amino acids and the 393 is your C, uh, query length all right um, then when we uh, scroll down this is our description okay so these are uh, the 94 sequences which are selected okay as in some cases you can get the 100 hits also okay so it depends on uh, what sequences you're selecting all right so these are your top 100 hits right uh, or the top 94 hits in this case where our query sequence of p53 homo sapiens has been aligned with now uh, let's understand what these hits are okay uh, you have your uh, the first case is your description here. Okay, so all the number of hits So you have the p53 homo sapiens, which is the sequence we are taken Then we have cellular tumor antigen tumor uh, protein p53 p53 cellular tumor antigen. So this is a description Then we have the maximum score. All right, so this is uh, the maximum score the total score is exactly the same thing uh, so what happens is your uh, query sequence um, um, is aligned with all the sequences and a score is generated. Okay. Uh, so the score is generated based on the scoring matrix which is used in BLAST. Okay. Um, next thing is your query coverage. All right. So as the name suggests query coverage. So how much percentage of our query uh, is covering the aligned sequence okay so if you see almost all of them okay this is 100 percent some places it's 96 percent so our query is covering just 96 percent of tumor suppressor p53 homo sapiens in this case it is 93 percent some cases it's 90 percent uh, then the next thing is your e value e value stands for your expected value now the thing about e value is lesser the e value much better is your alignment Okay. Uh, so that means um, all of these uh, alignments what we have obtained is good the next thing and the last thing is your percentage identity so your percentage identity actually means uh, how much identical uh, is our uh, query sequence to um, the rest of the sequences with which it is aligned with all right so uh, the first case is your hundred percent then it is 99.49 which continues for the first three then you have 99.24 all right um which goes to here and then you have 99 uh, 98.98 right um uh, and the finally is the accession number of these things so, okay so uh, this is how your uh, uh, this is uh, what exactly is the description or uh, the results basically of your uh, blast okay uh, i should i told you there's going to be a graphic summary to it so the graphic summary just gives a graphical representation of the 94 hits what we have obtained then you had your alignment alignment is same thing so whatever alignment uh, uh, whatever you got the results here so for uh, all the 94 sequences you can see the alignment of your query sequence with uh, each and every sequence here okay so this is the alignment what has been obtained so you can see your 100 percent identity okay zero gaps 100 percent positivity okay and 816 scores so uh, this is the alignment scores what we have obtained for the descriptions 
and finally is the taxonomy the taxonomy here indicates uh, uh, the organisms from which um, uh, of, uh, which the hits okay the 94 hits what we have got which organisms does all of them belong to okay so there you can see the varied uh, array of uh, organisms um, so this is how you can analyze uh, this is how you can get pairwise alignment using blast and you can analyze uh, whatever your sequence is all right you can even download all the sequences what you have got here all right so um, so this is a heuristic tool which is blast that is basic local alignment search tool which is useful for identifying uh, sequences uh, which is closely related to your query sequence last so thank you very much hopefully you have understood this tutorial for um, blast um, which is the heuristic tool um, do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you very much bye we have crossed 2000 subscribers thank you very very much it is your appreciation admiration love and positive comments which make me want to make more content for all of you viewers please please subscribe so that i can make more such videos next goal is 3000 in two months bye bye